If you're like me, and you broke a PS4 controller because of certain games, and you don't feel like paying $60 for another controller, then I have a solution for you. You could just buy this controller right here, which is $16, well it's actually $20 because the shipping and handling. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, if you just want to skip to where I showcase the controller, then you could, um, go to this timestamp right here. If you didn't skip, then you're an absolute chad. And also, I'm just gonna show you what's inside the box whenever you get it. So first of all, you get this pretty cool, I'm probably gonna have to blur that out, box. It's already looking better than the actual PS4 box. So, whenever you open it up, the first thing you're gonna see is these grips. These, these grips, they actually, like, feel nice. Um, I actually have some of the same ones right here. They feel pretty nice, and it also comes with a USB. Not even the actual PS4 controller comes with the USB. All right, there, now it's gonna focus. So you got some instructions and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you know how to use it. It comes with a warranty. Now for the big reveal, the PS4 controller. Alright, so it comes with these things on the joysticks, you could just take those off, that's so that way they don't get messed up whenever they're in the shipping process. It's actually pretty good quality, I don't, you could hear that, hold on, let me focus the camera. Like, you could hear that, they're actually clicking, this thing works, and all that. Now, the only difference that I could see is these right here, and also this, it doesn't have the PS logo on it. It's obviously so that way they don't get copyright claimed or, or something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna actually take apart this controller in this video too. But if you just want to see how to change these out for the actual PS4 logo and stuff like that, then you could go to this timestamp. Now, if you're like me, hopefully you're not, you've probably broken a lot of PS4 controllers. Now, this might look bad, this might look like I have anger issues totally do not have anger issues i i totally have not seen like five therapists but that's beside the point the point is i've broken so many of these controllers that i figured out how to just fix them when my eyes closed so you could just get you one of these ones with the logo and all that so that's because I'm, I'm pretty sure you still have your broken controller if you don't well you could probably buy these on amazon for like i don't know like five dollars I'm talking about the buttons, not the controller. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to take apart the controller now, just in case you don't know how to do that. And what I'm gonna use is this right here. I would also have this in the description. I kind of like these because they're like magnetic. They're pretty cool. You could also like, like freaking enlarge it. Wish I could enlarge something else. Let me do that satisfying little, little thing that all y'all freaking like so much. Oh, satisfying. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get something uh, like this or a little bow or something. This is just so that way you could put your um, uh, nails and all that in there. I like this. It comes with the thing that I showed you. It's magnetic, so that way the nails don't freaking roll around and stuff. I just realized this entire time I was calling it nails when they're supposed to be called screws. Um, just ignore me whenever I say nails, I just call it screws. There's four nails, just unscrew. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to show you, it does have the light thing on it. Yeah, I just forgot to show you all that. Alright, now that you have done that, you're gonna want to get a pry tool like this. It, this also came with the thing that I showed you earlier. Uh, what I like to do, I like to go in the bottom right here. Wait, hold on, let me focus it. Do I like to go in the bottom right here? Oh, okay, that um, actually came out a little bit too easy. Same thing on the other side. And from there, you could just take it off. Whenever you're taking it off, you're gonna wanna be careful because of this little thing right here. Just carefully disconnect it. Okay, there we go. If that thing breaks, then you basically can't charge the controller. Well, this is the one, the $16 PS4 controller uh, light bar thing. And look, let me get an actual one. Hold on. This right here is an actual PS4 light bar thing. 
So as you can see, they're pretty similar. Uh, pretty, yeah, similar. I wish my camera could autofocus, but uh, I have a shitty camera, so it can't really autofocus. Uh, as you can see right there, it's a 600 milliamp power battery. And the actual PS4 controller battery is a thousand milliamp powers. I would show you, but it's kind of hard to see it. So 400 milliamp powers um, below the actual battery. Uh, I'll say it's kind of noticeable if you're playing all day, like the battery does go down a little bit faster, but it doesn't like go down every 20 minutes or something. So you have a little bit of time to still play. So, um, what these guys done, they actually taped, like, kind of taped it down right there, it's unstuck. Probably used the pry tool, maybe that will help. Okay, yep, there it goes, okay. Alright, so just unplug the battery right there. It's kind of stuck on there, so if you pull very hard, it might break it. Just be careful. Ah, oh, damn, finally came off, okay. I think I might have gotten a newer version. Because as you can see, the batteries do kind of look... Well, not the battery. The batteries don't really look different. Uh, the font on the batteries kind of look different. The old one that I had, it's a bigger. But on this one, it's like um, smaller. And it's also a little bit slimmer too. So I guess they upgraded the battery, which is pretty cool. So under here, there's a screw. You're just going to want to unscrew that. There we go. Just put it on the little mat here. And then after you unscrew that, you could just take this part off just like that make sure not to break anything and you could just set it to the side you want to do you could just um lift this little lift up this little black thing right here uh, okay hold on look see that you just lift it up and pull this wire out just like that and now what i do i just pull back on the joysticks and now the whole thing just comes off just like that well, not the whole thing. It's still connected to the vibrators. So, yeah, you you could just pull on this right here, and it all just comes off just like that. So just set that to the side. So now this is where I'm gonna do most of the upgrades. Um, so I'm gonna take this trackpad off. Guys, do not take the trackpad off, cause whenever I did, I whenever I put a new trackpad on there, it actually kind of messed up the controller. So just leave the trackpad the track pad on there uh, so that way you don't mess up the controller just leave it on there don't even mess with it i'm gonna get my old controller and take those buttons out if you really want to you could take you could uh, replace the trackpad too but i mean not the trackpad the d-pad uh, take this one put the x in there is that the X? Okay. And also, whenever you're putting these in here, you're gonna wanna like spin them until they fall in there. So as you can see, it's not in there all the way. You just need to spin it a little bit because I guess that's how they made it and eventually it will fall in there. So now we have put the actual PS4 um, buttons on there. Now uh, a button fell out. Now I just gonna put the PS logo on there. I just like simply put the PS button thing in there. It's not that hard. Uh, you do have to take this off, um, but you could just put it back on. There's like these little um, pointy parts that that hold it together. So now that you have this done, you could um, also upgrade the uh, joysticks on here too. Like they feel all right, I guess, but like the actual PS4 ones, they like have a little bit of more grip on it. So I'm just gonna use the actual PS4 joystick things. If you threw your old PS4 controller away. You should probably get it out the trash before the trash guy comes. Or you could just buy these parts on eBay or something. Uh, there we go, another one. Alright, I guess since I have it out, I might as well do the comparison. You could see on the on the cheap one, they have these like these things uh, that are not on the actual ones. As you can see, this is what the actual one looks like. And this is the cheap one. You know what? Just do a B-roll shot. I don't. Right here, you can see this is the fake one. I'm just gonna call it the fake one. Um, it's just easier to call it fake. Um, but anyways, you can see it has these little notches right here that the real one doesn't have. I'll show you the real one real quick. Now this is the real one. The real one doesn't have those silver notches on it, I guess. And now I'll show you the back. 
this is the back of the real one. Uh, I accidentally broke that part off. This, uh, that's why I'm not using this. It does look different, but it still gets the job done. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this back together and you get to see a sped up version of me putting it back together, probably with some dream speed run music too. Before I do that, this, this part is kind of hard. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot to put the thing back on. <laughs> All right, I was gonna say, this part right here is kinda hard to put in. Like, you gotta get it through this little, yeah, that hole right there. You gotta get it through there, but it's kinda hard to get it through there. But, oh, oh wait, I actually got it on the first try, that's cool. So you just get it through there, so that way you could like, you could connect it right there. All right, all right, back to the dream speedrun music. done so um as you can see now it has the ps logo and all that on there now i'm gonna do a little gameplay of it so that way you can see that it works and all that all right um i'm gonna connect it using the cable that came with it i don't know if you can see that so here's the controller hold on let me turn the brightness up the connector that it came with and i connected it to my ps4 all right so the orange light does come on which is a good thing it's connected and it is connected let's see what battery it's on let's see what the battery is oh it's fully charged so huh well that's weird all right guys i just gave myself a mini heart attack because i thought it wasn't working uh so do not replace this do not replace this this right here it's gonna like mess up the whole controller apparently if you replace it. You could replace the buttons and the these, but just don't replace this because this messes it up for some reason. I'll probably put a little warning in the video to let y'all know. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna play some Mortal Kombat. Ah, okay, but you can see that it works. Like, it works, obviously. Alright, let's do a different game. Fortnite, I guess. Alright, so while we're waiting for that to load, look, as you can see, this is the extra buttons thing that the PlayStation people made. It does go in there, as you can see. It does go in there, it turns on, and everything. So, let's see if it works in-game. Alright, a little bit of bad news. Uh, whenever I plug it in on the game, it literally just starts pressing a bunch of random stuff um that's kind of a bummer because i actually use this a lot as you can see i'm not even not even pressing nothing it's just doing it on its own ah <sighs> well that sucks but i guess you can't get everything with a cheap controller final review of this controller i give it a, a 3.5 I already gave it a 4.5 on Amazon, but that's before I knew that it did all this extra stuff. So you can't use this on it. But um, I guess um, I guess we're just gonna have to see if they fix it or not. You're gonna email them? Yes, I'm gonna email them. If you do need a controller, this works pretty nice. It's only sixteen dollars with shipping and handling. In the description, you'll find it. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and bye.